As you guys can see on your screen right now, I only have a 68 overall team, as well as I only have 34,000 coins. And today, I'm gonna be attempting to win a Super Bowl. We're gonna do so by rebuilding the silver team, as you guys can see on your screen right here, while also going on a head-to-head -head season's run, trying to win a Super Bowl as fast as possible. But of course, we're not gonna be able to do that with a silver team, so let's get into the rebuilding process of this team. And like I said, this is a speed run. As you guys can see, our timer has just started, and we are already 10 seconds into this challenge, so let's, let's get to building this team. So let's first off go in here, here, and I'm gonna go through all my unopened packs. Let's see what we can go ahead and get here. Every second is crucial, but as you guys know, we're not gonna be able to win a Super Bowl with a silver team. That's just practically impossible. So let's go ahead and see if we can get lucky with a game day pack. There are still legend LTDs in packs, and we start off with an 88 Jerry Rice. We will definitely take that. So yeah, we're basically starting from complete scratch, other than 34,000 coins, and we're level five. The reason we had to do that is because you can't unlock head-to-head -head seasons without playing a few solos, so I, I had to go ahead and do that before this video. But other than that, we're completely starting from scratch here. Team captain wise here, I feel like we either have to go Eric Allen or Keyshawn Johnson. We just need to get an impact player at an impact position. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Keyshawn Johnson. He's not my favorite team captain, but for the sake of this video, he'll be really good to have just a good wide receiver. But yeah, we're obviously going to have to delegate some time to grinding some solos, to grinding some other stuff, because we're not just going to be able to straight hop in head to head seasons. That's just not going to happen, and it's just not realistic. But I do have to delegate my time properly to be able to get what I need for a Super Bowl run team because it's not going to be easy to win a Super Bowl, of course. I think everybody knows that, but let's keep on opening these packs here. I'm saving the best for last. As we do get an 84 RG3, that might be pretty decent. And then we have a starter team right here. This is going to be awful. Yeah, finally, we got our Mutt Rewards rookie. I honestly don't know what the rookie Mutt Rewards are because on my main account, I'm a legend here. And it looks like it looks like they're just going to give us midfield packs for all of these, I'm assuming. That's really not that great. We do get a legend, so I can't really complain as long as it's not a power up we do get an 83 overall so that's not that bad we get ourselves a team of the week in 85 that's not bad at all we'll definitely take that anything will help this team right now so i can't complain one bit let's keep on going here yeah nothing let's keep on going keep on going we get ourselves a rashawn evans 80 overall all right we'll take that so yeah nothing really too crazy thus far we do have 34,000 coins but i do want to start playing some solo challenges here i don't know exactly which solo challenge section i want to attack here so I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll see you boys in a bit. So the two main solo sequences that I went ahead and did and completed was first the team diamond solos. This gave us a free 87 unsung hero. And then I also went ahead and completed the team of the week souls, which will just give us tons of 85 plus to 87 plus BND team of the week player packs. And then finally, I sold off some of the cards that we pulled from packs while I was completing these solos. So I was able to get the coins in the background, of course, while I was doing the solo challenges. Alrighty boys, so time for a quick check and we have been selling a lot of stuff off and we're up to 100k we haven't put anything into our team because i kind of want to get a coin stack and then just buy what i need but as you guys can see i went ahead and did tons of these team of the week souls which just give you an 85 plus guaranteed some 87 pluses but these are going to give us a nat card a bnd player whatever you want to call it so these will for sure be on our team and we start off with an 88 out of an 85 plus so i can't complain about that one bit again anything is good out of these packs but of course if we can get a higher overall i will take it Hey, a D lineman at 85 overall really ain't too bad. So we'll take that. This is an 87 plus. Hopefully we can get something crazy. Hey, McCall Hardman, he is fast. He is fast. And that is really good to have, especially on a team that we're not going to have the best players on. Tony Pollard, a decent running back. Again, these solos maybe took me 10 minutes to complete. This is definitely worth it. 87 outside linebacker. That's not that great. Hopefully we could maybe uh, break like the 90 overall barrier. And then hopefully that's not going to be my quarterback when we go on this run. We got one more 86 plus pack right here. I don't know what this is going to give us. It's going to give us another 86. Again, those are all BND players, so we'll take it. And then right here, we have an 87 unsung hero. Again, this animation is going to blind us, so I'm going to skip through it. And of course, uh, it's tough to say. I'm not going to add this player to my team because I just don't think these cards are that great. But I'll just go ahead and pick up like Pat Sertain. We're going to sell them. These you can sell, so we'll get some coins from them. Again, I think we can get a lot better use of like a 50k than we could an 87 Pat Sertain. So we're going to go ahead and sell this off again we want to win a super bowl as quick as possible so getting those nap players and getting quick coins is really all we can really do here or else it's really going to take us a long time and then the speed run's kind of useless playing the head the head games themselves is going to take a long time so i don't want to spend too much more time playing solos here but i think the last set of solos that i'm going to try to attempt is we're going to go to the bottom here the most recent ones and i'm just going to complete these solo sections at the end they give us boom packs and those boom packs give us two cards that we can sell that sell for a lot 
lot. I might do this with like two or three sections of Legend Souls, but they do take a while. So yeah, I'll see you boys in a bit. We should have a lot more coins and I should have completed some of these solos. So yeah, I'm just not trying to waste any time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna do these solos while I'm talking. Hey, I'll see you boys in a bit. I wanna see, maybe we can complete this challenge in like under five hours. I don't know, we'll see. See you boys soon though. Alrighty boys, so I just tried to record this clip of something happened and it got corrupt. So I'll just redo it real quick. So basically what I ended up doing was playing about three sections of those legend solos. And as you guys can see, we are already an hour and 12 minutes in, which really isn't that great. We did get a lot of those solos done, which is gonna give us a lot of coins here. And we're probably gonna get up to around 300K or just maybe a little bit less than that. But while I'm waiting for the bulk of these cards to sell, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is head into some head to head seasons games and purposely leave them. This is gonna result in us lowering our matchmaking because when you start on a fresh account, EA does not care and they'll throw you in against a 91, a 92 overall team, even if you have like an 84 overall team. So yeah, I'm gonna lower my matchmaking probably nine games or three seasons worth. And then we'll come back here, we'll re we'll build up a team and attack for a Super Bowl run, of course. And then yeah, of course, while we're doing that Super Bowl run, I'll make some other upgrades that we need that are evident. Yeah, bulk of our upgrades will be made here in a second. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, sell the rest of these off, quit out of a couple games, and I'll be right back with you boys. So that's what I went ahead and did. But once I finished quitting out of a bunch of head-to-head -head games, I started to come back to the auction block to look for some players that I might want to buy. And this happened. Oh my gosh, 100. 100 coins? Dude, this has been up for 12 seconds. I just got a snipe that's been up for 12 seconds. What? Yo, 89 Dion Jackson, how much does he sell for? Alrighty, boys, so I'm hoping that clip saved, but we did back out of nine total games. And then I also have these cards that are still selling, but I'm like I said, I hope that clip just saved of me getting this snipe. If it did, it was obviously in the video. If not, I literally just got this for 100 coins. He sells for 76,000. What I'm going to do, and it's going to be kind of stupid, but since it's kind of a crazy snipe, I'm going to quick sell it, and we're gonna roll this in the TDP twice and hopefully we can make more coins than we put into it this is gonna be super stupid I don't know why I'm doing this but it's a speed run we gotta take risks I guess and yeah I don't know let's give this a whirl. let's give this a whirl we got two of them if we can pull something crazy that'd be nuts a platinum player could it be a high overall 82 I guess we'll take it could we at least get another platinum player right here either a platinum player or like an LTD would be absolutely crazy please 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 and another platinum player please high overall high overall 81 ah uh... I'm not too sure if that's too great, but we'll take it nonetheless. I don't really care too much. I was just checking out, looking for cards that we might be able to pick up for our team, and I see a snipe. I'm not complaining one bit at all. I, I don't I don't know what to say. We'll take it, but I, honestly, it does it's not gonna help us out tremendously. It's nothing that crazy, but it, it's it's good. I'm gonna not complain about it for sure. I'll tell you that. So yeah, we get another 32,000 coins right there, which is literally half the coins that we could have had, but you know, it is what it is. I got super lucky, so I can't really complain. And then we'll we'll quick sell the rest of this training i don't think we're gonna have enough to be able to do another tvp but we might a little bit later this video yeah we're halfway to another one so yeah what i'm gonna do here let's go ahead and upgrade our Keyshawn johnson i don't think i can upgrade him too too much but he can definitely be higher than an 85 and honestly that's all that really matters i mean he's all right right now but he could be a lot better we have two upgrade tokens so yeah we might be able to get him to an 88 it seems so yeah we'll definitely take that yeah we got about 330k i need to start getting into some head-to-head -head seasons games not all my stuff is sold but hey we can spend our coins later we don't have to spend them all right now yeah let's just go ahead but best overall our lineup and see what we're at and then see what we need to upgrade of course so yeah best team overall and we are up to a 77 which isn't bad O line is lacking awfully and yeah we could definitely use some secondary players as well so that'll definitely be on the lookout but let's go ahead and make some upgrades all right let's start off with the O line real quick because they are all silvers and literally any elites will be better than that so we'll go ahead and pick those up first all right right tackle right Right here Jawan Taylor 2500 coins we'll take that right guard Logan Steinberg right here 2100 coins we'll take that center right here Andre James 2900 coins we'll take it left guard right here John Runyon 2500 coins and I'm not even gonna try to say his name but 2300 coins for a left tackle that's a full O line for about 10k coins we'll definitely take that we have Bailey Zappi I want to upgrade him maybe a little bit later this video but for now let's go ahead and focus on our defensive side of the ball these pickups are definitely going to be a lot more expensive but they're going to be a lot more crucial as well because they're just at way more crucial of positions and my first pickup right here is going to be this Cordero Patterson he'll most likely be our user inside of the middle of the field area again he's a big time pickup that's going to be really nice and then we're going to pick up another strong safety but this one's going to play deep in the actual strong safety position I already know who I want he goes by the name of Grant Delpit where is he at Grant Delpit right here 3,500 
100 coins. That's not too bad. This card has been on my main team like all year. This dude is an absolute beast. Again, defense is going to be really huge. I feel like I can work with whatever I have on offense, but defense, it's really down to what my overalls are in a sense compared to my offense, I guess is the best way of putting it. So 87 overall, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this. Ooh, I don't even know who I want to grab. Let's check a higher overall. I don't want to spend too much at the free safety position, but if there's a really a, a much better option, we'll do it. I don't know if I want to go Javon Holland price because that's a lot of coins. What's this Richie Grant? I haven't actually ever seen this Richie Grant. Oh, Richie Grant's got 89 speed, 89 zone, 87 uh, hit power. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Richie Grant card. I really like that, honestly. So that's great. That's two strong safeties. We already have cornerbacks from earlier, but we need maybe one more. So we'll go ahead and pick that up real quick. Again, we don't need the best cornerback in the game because we already have two solid ones. So let's go ahead and just grab like an 86 to an 87 overall. All right. So our next pick up here is just going to be this Xavier Howard. He'll be our cornerback three. Again, he's just a core elite, but hey, we'll definitely use him. We'll definitely take him. He'll make our team better. And then right here, we'll just grab another middle linebacker. I guess we'll just grab Luke Keekley for 23K. This looks like a decent pickup. I don't really know. And then D-line, it doesn't really matter too much. I think we already have a couple D-line positions already filled, but we'll just go ahead and grab another 86 overall defensive tackle. 86 overall just seems to be our sweet spot. And I guess from these options, 25K is pretty cheap. So we'll go ahead and pick up Quinn and Williams. We might already have him on the team, but I'm not too sure, honestly. We'll go ahead and grab him nonetheless. And then we need a couple of offensive weapons. We already have Keyshawn Johnson. Let's go ahead, grab tight end. You already know the 86 we're looking for. Donald Parham down here. We'll go ahead and grab him for 29k so we'll have him our complete o-line we have tony pollard from the team of the week we have bailey zappy which who i'll probably upgrade a little bit later this video but we're not going to do that just yet oh this is a sniper here dalton schultz are we going to get another snipe this video yes sir we are we'll go ahead and grab that for 16,000. worst case scenario we'll just flip it maybe we'll use it on the team maybe we'll roll it i'm not too sure but that's a snipe we'll definitely take that and yeah best team overall we are now up to an 83 overall which is really good we have tight ends we have threats we have three great wide receivers a pretty decent running back an okay quarterback a decent o-line defensively we're honestly looking fantastic we have really good edge rushers yeah we're honestly looking really really nice here i don't know why grant del pitts here not that oh we oh, we already have an xavian howard card we can't use the other xavian howard all right well let's fix that real quick i'm gonna go ahead buy another cornerback and then yeah we're gonna attempt to actually be able to put him into our lineup but yeah let's go ahead i'm gonna also quick sell that xavian howard that we already had so we're at 2500 i'm gonna quick sell all these silvers that we now have as well this isn't uh, that's not gonna give us any training that's not even worth my time all right we'll, we'll figure something else out we'll just need to get 500 training to be able to roll that roll one more time but yeah let's go ahead and grab a corner all right right here's a 83 for six six thousand four hundred coins this is gonna allow us to re-roll that uh training variety pack one more time as well and then the, yeah let's go ahead and pick up that cornerback add him to the team and then yeah we'll upgrade quarterback and running back later depending on what our needs really are are. I'm not too sure just yet. We still have tons of stuff selling as well. So we might be able to get some pretty big pickups there. Let's go ahead and just pick up Aeneas Williams right here. It doesn't really matter too much. So yeah, that leaves us with 42k. We're Again, we're going to be able to roll this pack again. And then yeah, let's head into some online games, hopefully, which will be absolutely fantastic. I took a long time buying this team, but I'm hoping it's worth it. As long as we can win games, we're at only an hour and 30 minutes. So we're honestly not looking too bad. Alrighty, boys. So we just implemented that Aeneas Williams into our lineup. Let's go ahead and and rip this training variety pack one more time if we can somehow pull an ltd i'm gonna go absolutely berserk let's be honest that ain't gonna happen and a common strategy item all right well let's go ahead hop into some games then we got to start going on the super bowl run eventually so let's do it right now it only took two plays to end game one Bailey Zappy touchdown. Let's go. There we go. Good start to the game. We'll take it. Snap back. RG3 looking for Kittle. He throws it straight at me. Let's go. Luke Keekley with a pick. Way to start off game one with the touchdown. A defensive stop. And I think that's going to be enough to make my opponent pack his bags. Yes, sir. Good game. Game two was a much more boring game, but we still ended up getting the win. Del Pitt. Follow him. Oh, come on. There's a pick. Let's go. This game was pretty tough. We only won seven to ten, but that's a win nonetheless. There goes my opponent. Let's go. Game three ended very abruptly. Oh, 
and my opponent quit already after one stop. All right, well, GG's. And game four ended before it even started. Wait, what the heck just happened? I tried loading into a game. Did I, did it? Oh my gosh, what happened? Oh, yep, they just gave me a free win. All right, I guess we'll take it. We're two hours and 15 minutes in. One more win till the playoffs, baby, come on. And once again, we had an overall pretty slow game, but we still came out with the win. Oh my gosh, Patterson pick. Yes, sir, and that'll be enough to be able to win this game. All right, it's time for the playoffs, I guess. Two hours and 38 minutes in, though. Ooh. Alrighty, boys, so we have just completed our regular season, and it looks like we got a lot of coins here as well. Again, we have no need for these coins outside of this video or outside of the speedrun, so I do have to still go quick because we're still in that time constraint. Again, we're two hours and 42 minutes in, and the only position I'm lacking at, and it's very noticeable, is quarterback. Bailey Zappi is okay at best. Can we get a 90 overall quarterback for 96k? That'd be awesome. We cannot, so we're going to be able to get an 88 to 89. Again, any upgrade is going to be better than the Bailey Zappi card that we have and from my options here i honestly kind of want to go with this jalen hurts card we're gonna go ahead and pick up hurts having a good speed is very important for me as well as hurts in general just looks like a pretty cool card to have so we'll go ahead grab hurts i'm also gonna go ahead and grab the most amount of training we can with these coins and that will grant us the ability to get a couple of abilities and then yeah once we scoop up this training real quick right here we're gonna be able to get some abilities of course like i just said and then yeah we're gonna hop into these final games Games. Hopefully, if I can win a Super Bowl, I would like to do it under three and a half hours. I think that would be a really great time frame. But hey, at the same time, if I can even at least complete this Super Bowl run and actually win a Super Bowl, that's a big W in itself. So that would honestly be enough for me. Again, let's go ahead and rip one more training variety pack. If I can somehow just pull something absolutely crazy to give us just tons of upgrades, that'll be great. But I'm not really expecting that. And yeah, great strategy item. That's awful. It is what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna go activate these abilities and let's hop into the playoffs. Now, my plan for this video was to show you guys a lot more of the playoff gameplay process. But as you guys are gonna see, I couldn't really do that. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, way to start off this game. Grant Del Pitt with a pick. Yes, sir. Or that's Raheem. Oh, wait, he's quitting. It was last. Last name was Grant, not his first name, but we gotta quit. It doesn't matter. Way to start off the playoffs. And well, our second game of the playoffs kind of went even better than that. Hardman, yes sir. Come on. Come on. Hardman! Hardman! He's got space! He's got space! McCall Hardman out to the 30, to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Let's go! Way to start off this game, bro! No way! No way! And that's another quit! Come on, baby! Super Bowl season already! This speed run is legit now! Well, if I didn't expect for our playoffs to go that quickly, but they did, we have just the Super Bowl, and if we can win that game, then we'll complete this speed run completely, but I did see we have two unopened packs here. I'm gonna go ahead and rip these if I can make a couple more upgrades i'm obviously going to do that but if i don't get really anything out of this game day pack we're probably just gonna hop straight into the game because i don't want to waste too much more time here obviously i want to complete this as quick as possible and if the upgrades are going to be very minuscule minuscule then it really doesn't matter and yeah i don't think it's really worth us selling these cards waiting for those cards to sell taking the coins and buying players let's just go ahead and hop into the super bowl game and let's get a win baby let's go we started the game off on offense we are starting off on offense, and somehow this is Jalen Hurts' first snap because of that defensive stop and then the kick return, both forcing rage quits. We haven't actually had the ball on offense in the playoffs yet, and we're going to start off hot with Donald Parham getting a big-time catch. Yes, sir, 34 yards. All right, second down and 10 right here. Let's see what we can go ahead and get going. I'm going to go ahead, throw to the edge, Keyshawn Johnson, and I get picked off. That's tough. Well, it is what it is. Let's get our defense on the field. All right, let's see what we can go ahead and get going for us right here he's gonna throw right to my little open spot in the seam all right well he's got four men lined up on the right side of the field let's see what he's looking for he's gonna throw it straight at Xavier Howard our core elite yes sir and Xavier Howard's got room to work and that's gonna be a touchdown way to fight back baby and we're up by seven yes sir so our defense came back on the field once again looking for another stop if we can force a stop here this would be big bring out a fourth down opportunity for my opponent he's gonna throw it straight to this flat and we just, oh my gosh, can't get there. I'm assuming he's going to look for ETN here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and play the flat and guard ETN myself, which I do. And he throws it straight to Grant. Grant gets a pick. Can we bring it back for six again? Can we get two pick sixes? We get a stiff arm and we're still on our feet. It's not going to do anything. Sadly, we throw a pick, giving him the ball straight back. And again, my opponent gets that ball and takes it and scores his first touchdown of this game. And then on my next drive, I drive 
drive all the way down the field but don't have enough time on the clock left to score a touchdown, so we take our three and head into half. Since I started with it in the first, my opponent gets to start with the ball in the second half. Alright, first and ten for my opponent here. Let's hopefully be able to get a defensive stop. If we can get a defensive stop, we're going to be looking super, super good. He's going to throw it over the middle deep, and he's going to get a big pickup. That's not good for us. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we can get going here. He's going to throw straight to the flat. He can't go anywhere, though. Can our defense step up one more time, force one more stop? That would be absolutely crazy if we could get that to happen. He's going to run up the middle. We're going to clamp him up. We got ourselves a fourth and goal, folks. And my opponent opponent is electing to come out and bring the field goal unit onto the field tie the game up 10 to 10 wow this game is actually going to get interesting sadly here this is kind of where things took a turn for the worse and we started to fall apart as a team oh what what just happened what just happened Oh my gosh, Mike Vrabel just got the ball from me somehow. But you never know, he might look for the end zone. I'm not too sure. Where does he throw it to? He does throw it to Carmichael outside, and he's going to moss me and get the touchdown. Oh no. All right, snap back again right here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to see if I can hit Parham out there. I think Parham's there. No, I get picked off. Javon Holland reads me. It is what it is. Luke Keekley. he's going to throw to the flat. Nobody's out there. And just like that, boys, this run has been stopped short. I was so close to completing this speed run in under three three and a half hours which would have been crazy but unfortunately we weren't able to do it here today maybe we'll attempt again in the future if you guys want to check out another video on my channel it'll be on your screen right now that's tough boys you don't win them all though peace out